<sighs> Though I didn't see seem too bent out of shape when that half a horse came through. <laughs> Just kind of shrugged it off. Uh, you guys, you guys killed a lot of horses last time. Just one. They weren't our horses. I mean, you don't know. You don't know what happened to the other horse. We bought them. <laughs> I mean, they were shitty horses. They were well, like it's not even a horse, horses. it's a donkey. Yeah. Well, you know what? There's a lot of shitty people alive in the world. No. None of them are cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the horse's fault, it's shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I choked a little. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. All right. Product of its upbringing. Living under stupid Fletcher Farriers. <laughs> <laughs> that, that also have horses. <laughs> oh, he was painting minis. Okay, that makes like, sense. I was okay. I was okay with him being a farrier. But then he said that he specialized <laughs> in arrows. I was like, no, I'm not having this anymore. Oh, man. Done. Done. <laughs> Abe, are there fish nearby? Uh, actually, um, everyone well, make a perception you have, check. I was gonna say, why don't you have Korak ask if there are any fish nearby? Yeah, blah, 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 talk blah, blah. To him. He can talk to them. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Korak ain't seeing shit. No, I don't see any. <sighs> um. Yeah, so uh, you guys kind of look around, and uh, Beric and Valorin, you uh, you notice the the water itself is uh, uh, unnaturally warm, and that the vegetation around you seems to be um, kind of dead. Um, and unliving. Uh, Calliope, you look around and you, you notice that the, the door in front of you is slightly ajar, um, but the water does not seem to go inside. Oh. Alright. Do I see any fish? Um, no. Actually. Any, any creatures within 60 feet of me? No. Oh, alright. I was going to viciously mock something to see if it would work, but that's all right. <laughs> no, it's uh, unnaturally a void of life. All right. Uh, Clive, you will say it looks like the water doesn't go inside. Uh, what magic is this? Beric, you kind of hear some, some, nope, nope. some gurgling, nope. um, but you're close <laughs> enough uh, that you, you feel to like get you, get, gist. you get the gist of it. Uh, Korak, you're you're still just kind of amazed that Frederick is riding a horse into the water, and you are not paying attention. Like, are the cool. horse's hooves on the on the floor of the lake? Yes, it is. He rode it right in. Huh. And the horse seems fine with this. It's yep. not like freaking out. That's nope. weird. All right, I guess I'm gonna start walking toward the door. Calliope's doing like Ka-chunk. underwater ballet and jamming out really hard to <laughs> interpretive uh, dance. Yeah, like she is feeling whatever music she is hearing <laughs> in her head. Oh, you're hearing music. Calliope's like dancing and humming and underwater. I yep. What? Are you drunk? Did you hear it? I can't. Hear, I can't understand what you're saying. There's a lot of there's a lot of muffled talk back and forth. <laughs> we can use our sending stones to think at each other, can't we? <laughs> yeah, once we do it, do it right now. I don't have mine anymore. I gave it to Mundar. Yeah, oh, Calliope like I'm not points, do it. Calliope points around the water and kind of bobs her head and then points to her ears like she's yeah, she's excited. <laughs> <laughs> I keep walking to the door. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, you um. You walk up, you notice, like I said, that the door is slightly ajar. You I'm going can to look see a little in. Trips. Yeah, go ahead and make a roll. Was that perception? Perception. Yeah. Perception. 
I see in them traps. It's a door. It's slightly open, <laughs> and it's underwater. I'm going to push it open more and try to step inside. Make a dexterity save. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should let the professionals do this. How's um, that for professional? <laughs> so you, you, uh, you slide the door open very cautiously. Um, you kind of look around. Uh, let me paint you a, a, a pretty picture. Bing! Ben. Um, <clears throat> and immediately you notice that the uh, the room itself is eliminated, uh, illuminated. Uh, there's some kind of droplets on the floor. Um, you get to about here, um, and your and everything feet is fine. Touch the floor, uh-huh. um, and immediately you think, "Wow, these are tiled!" And then, right on your ass. Oh no! The floor the is lava. Itself is uh, the floor is um, dry for the most part. There's a couple of wet spots, but the room itself is open and uh, dry. All right. I'll beckon, beckon everybody. I'll lead Swift Eye in. Oh, excuse me. Abe, as we proceed, does the music get louder? Uh, yes, it does. Nice. I'll help Eric up. That's my dancing. Mm. It's a mighty fine dance. Yeah. Uh, you actually dance through into the clear room, and you do not stumble and fall on, on your butt. Um, and you do yes. a spin, and water droplets go everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're just shooting Bust them off them in all in. directions. Uh, and Ben, you are still on your horse. So I'm underwater, I'm in dry land now. You are currently underwater, riding a horse that seems to be breathing just fine. I'd like to jump off my horse. <laughs> oh boy. You want to leave a horse there underwater? Yeah. So you, uh, I'm kind of like maneuvering around the side, and I want to kind of grab one of its legs and kind of check out the hoof. <laughs> make a, <laughs> make an investigation check. What are you, uh, what are you trying to find out about the hoof? Korak, you see him uh, caressing the bottom of this ho- horse's foot. <laughs> Listen, Frederick, a horse is a horse. <laughs> like, is the hoof? I want to know, is the hoof like? set up well to move through this water um and, uh, and is there something i can do to manipulate the hoof to make it better um you know you kind of look at it and you inspect it and um it, it might take you a little bit more time but you notice that this wasn't the best work and you think back to quinn zimmon zoomin and you think i don't i don't know what that guy actually does um you think you might be able to maybe attach maybe out of water some fins and it could it could move quicker, but current state not too well. Um, I mean, how long do I need to take to do that? Is that something I can craft together pretty quick? Uh, in the water would probably take you uh, several minutes. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind, but not do it yet. All right. Just kinda... And I'll I'll kind of hop back on the horse. <laughs> Horses. As uh. As Valorin's entering into this front chamber, her her gills start melding into her body, and she grows a single horn in the middle of her forehead. All right. Our party's getting really weird, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My horn can pierce the sky. Uh, yeah, you do so. It's a magnificent horn. It matches your blue hair. Nice. So there's a front chamber. I'll, I mean, I walk towards the front chamber. It's a it's a pretty big door. You uh, could probably actually get the horse through. Uh, Barrett, get that horse the, on in here. <laughs> push the door open wide enough. Um, it's probably a good maybe eight feet wide, ten feet tall. It's a massive yeah. door. I'd like to go in. And you said when you go in, it becomes dry. Uh, yeah, you can actually see. Um, you know, in the water, you can see people's hairs kind of floating around. As they entered, you see them immediately, you know, take on the gravity of the situation. It, it seems to be an empty chamber. Okay. I'm going to walk in there, and then I, you know, as I'm waiting for other things to happen, I'm going to work on the shitty craftsmanship on the horse hoof, and also see if I can get some of those horse fence together. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say Calliope says to Valorin, you look magical. Here, accessorize. 
and she digs through the bag of holding and tosses you one of the elven ever burning torches. Mm. I thought did those go out. Uh, they did, but not anymore. They they burn with a. Uh, oh, you God, have one that's burning. burning? <sighs> yeah, it's like a blue. It's like Thank a. Thank you. It's a, a it's three. a it's a deep light blue. What? Yep. Because we're in this temple. Nope. Because uh, you saved the queen of the elves. Uh, yeah, Calliope snagged one. <laughs> oh shit! I have two of those in my bag. They they also glow blue. Uh yes. Hell oh, yeah. So what do I do with this? You in character. You I don't know. Hold it up in the air. Wave it around dramatically. It matches your horn. Yeah, but these are my money makers, and she waggles her fingers. All right, so put I it in your like, mouth. In, also my money maker <laughs> strap it to the horn strap it to the horn <laughs> she just she she immediately gets really flustered and just like wag wags her fingers <laughs> threateningly at calliope not what i meant not what i meant phrasing calliope just wiggles her fingers and makes vulgar mouth motions at her <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we should move on uh, uh, everyone make a perception check Zone of uh, cross of truth, man. Things, baseballs. Um, True. Okay. Yeah, you you guys notice after standing in this room for a little bit that um, there seems to be two kind of chambers. One here, one there. Uh, the, those seem to be almost like a grate. Um, big iron ballers kind of come uh, from the top of the ceiling about halfway down. Um, oh, here I got you, Ben. Um, <clears throat> they come halfway down. Um, and kind of stop with a shelf um, inside the room. Valorant, you are going to notice. Probably not much. A room! She's, I'm sneaking, by the way. Um, go I'm and sneaky. roll a self check. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nice. Um, the two of you will immediately notice that um, uh, Calliope, uh, are you, uh, did you just walk up? Oh, yeah, she's not sneaking. She's still jamming. All right. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, oh no. Calliope. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 23. Nice. Probably around the corner a little bit. Oh shit! I done fucked up. Oh no! Wait. Oh, I saw them. I saw them. I know right where they are. Mm, no take backsies. No, you guys definitely saw those. I'm gonna horn the zombie so hard. <laughs> My <laughs> horn. Good. Okay. Uh, Put your oh. on it. Okay. Um. Valorant, I will say you get a uh, attack of opportunity, uh, but you you immediately see full enough that um, I can barely carry it. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Frederick, you you did some pretty good work. Um, uh, Calliope, uh, you also noticed that Frederick did a little alteration to his horse um, before you walked up. You kind of watched him, and uh, it looks like he made it to where it could swim better. I'm gonna do it. All right, so you guys, the two of you looking there, see this strange creature kind of standing there. Um, Valorant, I'll give you a, a, a free attack. Or free what kind of, is it like a solid door? Or is it like a, what are we uh, looking at here? So it, it is it is bars that come halfway down. They start at the top of the ceiling and come halfway like waist level. They're yeah. about six inches apart, but they're pretty thick steel uh, or some kind of metal frame. But like the the from waist down is just an opening. Uh, waist down, it is uh, solid, like almost oh, a hard window. I can attack this thing if it's in its cell. Yeah, tag it up. 
she 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 she's turning around to motion like hold up one finger and point through the point through the bars uh because she still thinks we're stealthing and doesn't realize we're an initiative <laughs> so oh there go. oh god <laughs> I'll wait until my turn. This will be first. All right, Valor, what are you doing? That's it. Oh, that's what you're doing. All right, that's it. Um, top of the round, Clypey, you're up. Uh, Clypey sees this thing, and goes, "Oh shit!" <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, does it look aggressive? Um, it, it looks sad. Look at him frowning. So as you kind of walked up, it, it sees you and, and immediately starts to kind of um, go towards the bars. Uh, it, it's, it seems to be very aggressive in nature. All right. She's just going to take a step back so it can't reach her through the bars. And then um, she will pull her rapier up and ready an attack if it attacks her. Nice. All right. Do you anything else? Um, she turns around behind her and goes, Are you guys seeing this shit? <laughs> That's it. That's a good turn. Uh, Beric, you're up. Shut up! <laughs> you now immediately see a very ugly web-like creature. Ugh. Um. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done something. I'm gonna take a defensive stance. Is yeah. it coming toward the door? Um, currently it doesn't, well, as you kind of chain mail up, uh, mm -hmm. it, it does seem to take notice, but it hasn't okay. moved yet. Yeah, I'll take a defensive stance in front of the door. Okay. Uh, Valor does That's not it. see you, though. Uh, speaking of which, you're up. Alright. Um, I'm going to use an action to use, to change alter self, her unicorn horn goes away. Oh. I'm going to change my appearance to look like one of those creatures. Mm. So I can decide what I look like, including height, weight, facial features. Um, you can make yourself appear as another of a another a member of another race. No statistics change. All you have to do is be like, if I'm bipedal, I have to stay bipedal. So mm. if it's like generally the same form, like humanoid, I can do it. So I make myself look like one of those guys. Yeah, uh, your your skin becomes uh, scaly. You you get kind of webbed, weird uh, ears. Um, you've got claws, and you notice that uh, you have some sort of like tail-like tentacle. Gross, she Ew. says out loud, and she she mutters, "Gross." And then she she's going to uh, <laughs> try something charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> She is going to um, give give Beric a fishy wink, and then she is going to stand up and kind of facepalm Beric away from the bars. <laughs> and, and stand in oh. front of the stand in, so she he gets a I slimy, move back willingly <laughs> a slimy facepalm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she. She goes in front of the bars and just gives, like, the nastiest wet growl she can think of. And then points at the double doors. <laughs> nice. I'm the face of the group. It's cool. That's why, that's why they sent me. All right. You, you, you doing anything else there? Nope, that's it. I just want to see how this thing reacts. All right. Uh, Quark, you're up. Uh, so this top one that has the same thing at bars, uh, like up to waist height. Yep. Uh, the bars start about waist height and then go to the ceiling. From uh the waist down is a solid uh wall. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's not like a opening or anything. No, it seems to be um like there. There's a window. At the bottom of the window is probably about a six foot opening without any kind of metal bars, and then metal bars from there up. Okay. Um, I'll just stand next to here, and if the creature tries to, you know, poke our arms out or gets close, I'll just stab it. Stab a bitch. All right. Um, you guys see the door burst open. This one. Um, and from it, 
Maybe. Doing it live. All right. Um, from there, verse fourth, three ladies. Ladies. They come, they come running out, and the one in the lead goes, "Save us! We've been here for years." That's that's what happens. Uh, I want an insight checker. Frederick, you're kill up. him, Frederick. Kill him. <laughs> Uh, Korak, <laughs> make a perception check. <laughs> Kill them, Galaxy. I, I gotta stop talking Kill while them. you guys are... I mean, drinking while you guys are... Um, Fred... Da, da, da. Oh, damn! Um, Frederick, uh, it doesn't seem right. You can't quite put your finger on it. Uh, Korak, what I need you to do is roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. I noticed saw too, too much. You saw the man who saw too much. I saw oh, too much. Oh, that's oh, pretty shit. good. Um, I'm good. So this one right in front of you. Um, I got, a, got a lot of things moving. Hold on two seconds here. Is, um... Da, 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 da. Um, as she kind of comes through the door, uh, your, your, uh, holy relic around your neck, um, there's a flash and then her appearance completely shifts. Uh, and in front of you is, is the ugliest, most wretched woman you've ever seen in your life. She's got seagrass like flowing over her and, and waves. No. She's got scale like body. Uh, no. this is a, this is an ugly woman. Um, but nothing else happens. All right, Frederick, you're up. You still see her as a somewhat homely woman. What do I notice out of Korak's expression? Um, there's a moment of sheer... Well, roll a perception check, and then I'll tell you. Don't see too much. Okay, yeah. Um, so you kind of see the woman kind of uh, run through the door, and then you see... Uh, Korak kind of take one step back and it catches you off guard and you kind of look and there's this moment of just horrific uh, terror that crosses his face and then he immediately becomes stoic again and that stern like Korak charismatic charge takes place and he steps back forward alright I'm going to ride in on my horse over here <coughs> I'm going to jump <laughs> off <laughs> and <laughs> swing my <laughs> long sword at the unidentified creature number one nice swing away Son of a bitch. I mean, you're still getting <laughs> used to the fact that you just kind of rode a horse underwater, and you were really used to that now, but now it's got sh seashells as hooves for swimming better, and you're just not used to it. You, you get off the horse, but you swing wide. Uh. Here. When did Frederick get a longsword that he punched things? Well, I'm going to go ahead and. So as I miss with my longsword, I'm going to moxie up a little bit. And then I'm going to take one punch, and I'm going to try to just kick the thing. Nice. Do it. Do it so good. There oh, it is. Oh, that hit. Those Sometimes are you just glory got to just moxie it up. And here's the kick. <laughs> oh, 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 the kicker. That's a massive kick. Well, that's good damage. Mm -hmm. That that uh, there there is a um, kind of flicker in its its appearance, um, but uh, it just kind of turns to you, and that that kind of frail old voice uh, looks towards you and goes, "This is our land." Um, it's uh, it's, it's pretty angry. From California. <laughs> All right, Korak, you know what to do. Fucking island. All right, that will be my end of my turn. Nice. Um. Da 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 da. da. Kill. Um. <laughs> the old one two. Um. 
this one is going to move over here. And she's going to kick the door closed. Um, and then... Good night, buddy. Um, da -da 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 -da. I need... Barrack. No! Make a... Oh, where's it at? No! Wisdom saving throw. No! no. I'm pretty wise. This should go okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. So there, there's a moment. You kind of look towards this woman and, and her, her uh, face kind of shimmers for a moment. Um... And then uh, you, you feel rather sleepy. The weight of just the battles and, and running through a tree and a horse getting cut in half is kind of weighing on you. But then you realize your companions are depending on you and you shake off the effect. And nothing happens. Um, this one is going to run at the bar. And... It's going to reach its hand out viciously and kind of swipe, and it's going to do this with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Because it, it, it's kind of blindly attacking you. Um, where the heck is it at? Oh, I found it. It's cool. It's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, no. It's just, it's just flailing... Flailing really <laughs> badly. Yep. Um, Shoot, it gets three. So uh, from out of the bars, these these hands just come whipping out, and they're just slashing at everything you can see. Uh, it's ripping up the walls, uh, but uh, luckily it didn't hit anything. Can I see there. Yeah. Hit this uh, yeah. Go arms. ahead. You guys can trigger. So you guys were holding your action. Hmm. Mm. Ow! Mm. Ow! Mm. Well, let me, Heavy! Let me, Ow. let me re roll those. <laughs> uh, Ow! Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just leave them <laughs> as is. Uh, so, as its hands are like striking at the two of you, you immediately just start to swing at it, uh, uh, dealing some pretty nice damage to its to its arms. Um, nice. Let's keep going here. Um. Swift Eye would hear some footsteps. Frederick, you would see. I need to make this bigger. Yoink. That from out of the shadows emerge another one. The another shadow one. knows. Another one moves there. Which one is this one? Oh, here's the other one. Came out of the shadows. AOE, AOE. <laughs> um, Swift Eye is. Um, yeah, isn't that the wizard's job? Swift Eye is just going to stay there for a moment. Okay. Clive, you're up. All right. I want to do. I'm casting Spirit Guardians. I don't remember how to make a, a circle. Like to indicate how far it goes. Control cl uh, both clicks. There like we go. this. Not like this. Or this. Like this. <laughs> okay. I feel like, I feel like I'm I helpful. am casting Spirit Guardians. So these, um, what do they look like? They're like these little cherubs with harps and tambourines and also some really obnoxious triangles. And they're just kind of like dancing around and singing in really high pitched voices. Like and, like yep, just like that. Good. So, it surrounds you? Yeah. Um, so, enemies' speed is halved in the area. 
and when they enter the area or start their turn there, they have to make a saving throw or take damage. So nothing happens to them yet, but when they um, start their turns and they're in the area, they'll have to roll. Gotcha. And for my bonus action, I will... Uh, I'll do a bardic inspiration on Frederick. I'll say, that was a really good kick. Kick her again. <laughs> you have a D8. I mean, that's good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. It. And then I'll um, actually, I'll move. I'll just move it over a little bit so I'll make sure that I'm getting all of them. Good. That's it. All right. Um... This one is going to run forward. Uh, what happens on her turn? Or is it at the end of her turn? So, no. Starting turn must make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Or the first time it enters. Right. First time it enters or when they start their Shit, turn there. the first one. 13. What's my DC? I feel like 13. Right? Yeah. I feel pretty right. confident higher than 13. It takes 3d8 radiant damage. Oh, shit. All right. Kaboom, Ski. Wow. All right. That's a, that's a good roll. Um, it's going to hiss at you. Calliope, make a uh, constitution save. No. Oh, Frederick, you too. Mm. Nice. Okay. Um, it hisses in, in anger. Um and then immediately you see before you the same presence that Korak, unfortunately, has already seen. Um, Frederick, you, you, you steady yourself. I'll for a few minutes. I bet she'll go back to sleep. Uh, you, you steady yourself for a moment um, and, and kind of draw upon your inner training, uh, but Calliope, you're, you're stuck. You can't stop staring. Um, and before you know it, you're, you're, you're terrorized. Uh, uh, beyond um, uh, anything you've experienced uh, this day. You are now frightened for one minute. Um, where's, booga, my, booga, booga. where's my friend at? There's my friend. You don't be frightened. Um, you can attempt another saving throw at your next turn. Um, you'll have disadvantage against the hags if that's may be what they are. All right. Um, but they took their damage, and now they're going to use their turn. Um, <laughs> this one is going to run over here. Go away. I look like a sea spawn. You do look like a sea spawn. Um, let me look at something real quick. Nope. You look like it's a not an illusion. It's going to run past you. It's not it's an illusion. Going to I, I am a sea spawn. I don't just look like a sea spawn. <laughs> I, I admit it. Spawn. Mm. Um, and from out of nowhere, Barrick, you feel just a claw slash at your backside. Uh, hey. Luckily, your your armor kind of ricochets it off. And you just simply hear the, the like the <sighs> scraping on glass. Um, I would like to use my reaction to mm. use a riposte. <laughs> mm. Riposte. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to expend one superiority die to make a melee attack against a creature. Mm. If I hit, I can use add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. So. Nice. Um, my thing. Actions. Hammer. <laughs> that doesn't hit. Um, no, that does not hit. That's okay. Um, you just simply hear a. <laughs> Remember pasta. It's very guttural. Um, which actually brings us to your turn. All right. I'm going to touch myself. Oh. And. Awkward. Cast. 
protection from evil and good. Evil. Anybody else? How long? How long does that last? When I cast protection from evil and good, I touch myself. <laughs> up to ten it minutes. It lasts concentration up to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do I? How do it, I do it? It is in fact evil. This one. No, I didn't mean to attack. I didn't mean to do it on on the thing. You I do it on bitch. the thing. Totally did it on the thing. I didn't mean to. Take it off the thing. But put it on me. Alright, put it on all of my guys. Take it off you. Got it. No, that's not... That's not what I said. <laughs> and then... Um, I'm just going to shimmy to the top. And then shimmy on the other side of it. <laughs> <laughs> shimmy, shimmy. That's it. All right, crack. You you are up. Uh, Skip me, Valor. Valor. Oh shit! I mean, sorry. I hit my end turn button. I think uh, I thought you just skip. No, it's fine. Valor was sleeping. I mean, Valor, it's your turn. Oh, I was ready. Um, first off, do I recognize what anything about these creatures? These uh, I will say you can make ugly ladies. Check. And you're. I welcome. would. I would freaking love to make a history <laughs> check. Uh. Skills. Twenty. Oh shit, balls. Um, yeah, you have read about these in books. Um, and with a twenty, uh, you know these creatures to be uh, a sea hag. They mm. uh dwell and manipulate uh areas around them. Uh, you you also know that um one sea hag can be a problem. Yep. But three creates a coven, mm. and covens are very powerful together. Uh, you know that cool. uh, separating or destroying one might be the quickest way to succeed. Uh, I can do that. Um, so, would I know if they're like demonic or fey or anything like that? Actually, I can just, I'm going to grab my amulet. See if it's see if it tells me anything because my amulet, which I've never used, <laughs> can tell me this. Do I do I feel feel around demon, devil, or fey? Um, I have to actually look at your amulet to make sure I'm saying this correctly. Oh, it's warm or cold. Uh, it feels um unnaturally cold in your hand cool 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 uh i'm gonna move up this way uh if it decides to take a swipe at me so be it um but it, i am still a c-spawn it does not it it sees yes. you as a c-spawn uh as she walks away she's like you're real stupid <laughs> and um i'm gonna move up here <clears throat> yeah right right around there um, and she's going to grasp her amulet. I would like to spend three spell slots. I've never done this before, babe, so let's <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna do the thing. So they are like three first level spell slots. Um, I believe so. I'm rereading. Um, yes, you can use cool. first level. I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'm gonna blow three first level spell slots, and. Um, I'm going to attempt my Arcana check because I cannot cast the spell. Come on, baby! Don't fuck me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you 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 grab your amulet and you um, you start um, you know, thinking what you want to do and you start praying. Uh, <laughs> And and from you, there's this there's this essence. And for a moment, you feel like you can contain the power of of the divine word. And then, yep. as you're about to speak it, the, the music is released. Uh, and by music, I mean the magic. Uh, and and the magic dissipates before you're able to actually conjure the words. Would have been real cool, guys. All it right, my been last epic. of my movement, I'll move back ten. And for my because that's a bonus action for divine word. 
Mm-hmm. For my action, I'm going to back up, and she starts weaving her hands out. It's a little bit of phosphorescent moss, mm. and weaving a hypnotic pattern in the air, and I'm going to blow a hypnotic pattern. So, yes. Um, you hear a cackling behind you? Sure. <laughs> um, what level's a hypnotic pattern at? Uh, it is a third level spell. Um, and as the oh, magic oh, kind of releases from shit. your hand, it immediately evaporates. Is it being counterspelled? It is. I'm going to counterspell or counterspell. Oh, nice. shit balls. All right. I haven't so, used my reaction yet. <laughs> there is there is an immediate tug of war to this, this magical essence. Um, and you dissipate my counterspell. Yep. Uh... As she as she feels the counter spell happening, she just throws a uh, single bird behind her and <laughs> finishes her hypnotic pattern. Nice. It takes now it took two third level spell slots for me to do that, but it was but I'm good. doing it. It's gonna it was, be good. It was good. It's gonna be good. Thirty foot cube. <laughs> Crack a thoom. So I need uh, wisdom saving throws from all those all those guys. Oh yeah, there's some music. I can just force it. I'll force it. Um, I can do this. I can do this. I know how to do this. Do it. Force them. Ba boom. Failure. Failure. Success. Success. Um. Drop it like a I don't, I, I don't know who succeeded or failed, but um. I'm just uh, gonna do this. Creature three succeeded. They should automatically get it. Oh, get good. the incapacitate on them. Should be two of them. Yeah, I got them. Uh, oh, it was only two of the sea spawns. Boo. Uh, <laughs> Boo. That's all right. Two of the sea spawns are incapacitated. That's my turn. Hey, that was a that was a good turn. All right, now you're up, Cora. All right. Oh. I'll... And my sea spawn goes away, by the way. I am because I'm concentrating on not a pattern now. Nice. I'll move up and I'm gonna attempt a trip attack on unidentified creature one. <laughs> trip him up. So that's okay. It's at superior. Okay, so I have to hit him. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's go. I'll use another attempt for my second tag. This is epic pirate music. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> no, you're still you're still very <laughs> taken back by. <laughs> the realization of what you're fighting. Uh, it, 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 it's hard to catch your ground. You are one ugly mother. <laughs> Watch your mouth. No, I'm talking about Korak. Just, what? Just talking about Sea Hag. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Alright, sweet. Um, Alright. Do anything else, Korak? Nope. Um. See, Hag one, did you just do saving throws for all of them at the same time, or are you doing? I I targeted all of them and made them all roll a saving throw. No, I mean for the um. Wisdom. For yeah, wisdom saving throw. Yeah, it failed. So how much damage? Eight radiant. Nice. Got it. Um, Korak, I need you to make a. Oh crap! I just uh, there it is. Um, make a wisdom saving throw. Ah, wisdom. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh shit! I can't uh, hit, but I can save. <laughs> the, the sea hag turns to you and goes, "You're the ugly one." <laughs> and uh, your skin starts to turn slightly, and you get this feeling like you you hunger for cheese, and then <gasps> the feeling passes. 
and you stand there smiling, and the sea hag is caught off guard. Uh, what was that about? <laughs> she may have been. Whatever you say bounces you. off of me and sticks to you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> burn, burn, uh, Frederick, you're up. All right, so I want to try to make a really loud noise right by the horse so that it kicks the sea hag. Like a horse noise? A ho- like, a, like a startling noise, like a loud kind of boom, ooga, ooga, ooga. shot type of na- noise. Are you, so that are you the... making it with your mouth or are you making it with something else? <laughs> no, press, press the digitation. Oh, make okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I just want to cast that All right. and then hope that the horse kicks the sea hag. All right. So... I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, Maybe it just happens. Just bury your special ability. So here's what we're gonna do. So you you scare the horse, and it immediately starts to like buck wild, uh, and it's just gonna roll and add. What's your strength? I'll, I'll just make it simple. My strength. Yep. Is uh, plus three is the modifier. Um. Yeah, so it, it, it rears back and kicks, and the sea hag uh, easily kind of dodges out of the way. Oh, I moved the horse. I'm going to use my hag. bardic inspiration. Can I do that? Yeah. So what's what's the total roll? 12? So I'll, I'll add the 8. So that should you, be you just add a d8, so you have to roll it. It's very Oh, I have to roll the d8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but roll a 7, and you'll be fine. Or I will eight. say the horse was close to kicking. So That was not a d8. Oh. Was That's a d10. No, that was a d10. That was a d10. That's oh, game. it was meant to be. <laughs> to say uh, so with be. that, uh, roll your, <laughs> I-, I guess, unarmed damage. What you normally would for a kick. We'll just make it the same. Uh, with that, the horse kind of rears forward on its front hooves and then kicks back. Uh, and you can add two damage for your seashells that you added into it. So seven points of damage to the sea hag. Um, can I still take my unarmed strike or no? Probably not, right? But, um... <laughs> How does your attacks usually work? You have to make an actual. If I do attack. an unarmed, if I do an unarmed, I can do like another unarmed. Make a animal handling, and we'll see how much of your turn you spent Seems trying fair. to scare the horse. Okay, I was. Yep. All right. So yeah, go ahead and punch it. I'll let you make one attack. All right. So after the horse gets it, I'm gonna go in with a headbutt. <laughs> she got a unicorn horn. Oh, nice. So as it's kind of rearing back from a, a kick from the startled horse, you just smack it in the face with your own head. Mm. Yeah, it's looking it's looking a little dazed. It's not it's not happy. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do for my turn. Alright. I can probably just make these sea hags now and just make it easier on us. Uh alright, so sea hag two has to make a wisdom save? Yeah. DC 17. Oh. Boom! Alright, so that one's six. Uh, does anything so happen when it succeeds? She takes half damage. Oh, I hate that. I mean, that's probably okay. Ooh. Uh, I'll say seven. Alright. Ooh, I add that to Frederick. That's probably fine. Uh, so. Yeah, Frederick gets poked by a cherub right in the butt. Um... Yeah. Um, Valoran, make a wisdom saving throw. Absolutely. <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask me to do that. Let's do this. Ooh, I have a good one. Ka-chow. Oh, damn. Uh, it, it turns to you, Valoran, and go, Your first little one. Um, and there, there's a moment where you kind of feel all your tendons kind of start to constrict, and then you just push back with all your might uh, and your constitution stands firm and you withstand. Um, let me document that I use that. Mm-hmm. That's right. One used. Damn, sea hags, do better. Uh, this guy is stupid. Um, he is just going to stand there and he's going to swipe the bars. Um, uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw because he's in my cherubs. Oh, shit. Those damn cherubs. Oh, his wisdom sucks. Yep. Yeah, he takes 
that many radiant damage. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a mighty fine radiant damage. Uh, mm. Four. Okay. I mean, he's looking. He's looking pretty beat. Um, <laughs> this one too is gonna kind of swipe, but uh, uh, seeing as that nothing is happening, it's going to realize. Well, let's see. Yep, it's gonna realize the door is open and kind of walk this way. It's done, dude. Oh shit! That guy's stunned. Does it have to uh, roll anything? Nope. Oh, as long as I'm concentrating. That guy's stunned. This guy's stunned too, right? Yep, yep they're, they're stunned for a full minute until mm. I break concentration or if they get hit. This guy ain't stunned. Uh, spell you're spell bonkers. A, you're gonna attack the sea spawn one though, and then I distracted you with the saving throw. Oh, I was gonna attack him. No, you were gonna attack with sea spawn. Oh, one, but right? he can't reach him. He's just swiping the <laughs> oh, okay. bars. He's stuck. I see. I yeah, see. he can't actually reach. Um, so that makes a really good point. Does it have disadvantage or anything? Because it's in your cherubs? No, it has. Oh, its speed is halved. Oh, that's fine. Um, correct. From out of nowhere, you you just hear this, uh, and uh, before you realize it, there's a dart that sticks in your your neck. Oh shit! Uh, you take three points of poison damage, which you're resistant to, and you failed horribly on your constitution save. You are now poisoned for one minute. Oh, that sucks. Poison! I might have advantage. Uh, where is the belt? Oh, you might, actually. Yeah, I do have advantage on it. Alright, roll it again. Uh, I might might remove it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, so um, the, the poison starts to t- kind of take effect, and uh, again, just the feeling of. Let me just get rid of that. ADG. There. Uh, just make sure that your, your team survives. You, you push forward, taking no additional any effects. Um, C spawn five. Who's going to move forward? I'd like to believe that they like that. They're not too bright, so, Frederick, it runs past you. By all means, you can punch it. Enters your zone. Yeah, C spawn five has to make a saving throw. Yeah, I'm not trying to like C-spawn? Goldberg Spirit as it runs past me. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Twenty two oh, radiant man. damage. Oh shit. Alright. Let me just add that to the wounded. Oh that hit. Are you just trying to knock it down or are you trying to do damage to it too? Me? Yeah. I'm trying to do damage. Alright. Oh, that was Sea Hag. Uh, I'll fix that. Is that not what I'm trying to hit? No, I'm sorry. 26. It's all right. He ran past. Uh, C spawn five is going to get uh, not as far as it was going to try. Um, and I will fix that. So you did an extra that. So do this. Okay, good. I'll fix that. Um, C spawn is going to, uh, as it runs past you, going to try to swipe. Maybe. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Misses. Uh, and then it's going to try to bite Korak. Oh, why is my bite not working? Well, it's the same attack as this. Shit. And then it's going to swipe at you with claws. C Spawn 5 just feels disappointed in his life. Uh, Swift Eye is just taking a nap for the time being. Calliope, you're up. Alright, so is this frightened like when I cast fear on people frightened? I have to run away, or what is the frightened? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that. It means uh, you cannot move closer, and yeah. you have disadvantage on attacks. I believe he is 100% right on that. Okay, and I am afraid of... Who am I afraid of? All the Sea Hags? Um, it would have been this one, if memory serves me correctly. Sea Hag 1? Yes. Okay, so I can't move closer to see Hag one. All right, that's fine. And disadvantage on attacks. Um, I am going to cast Bane. Does that drop your cherubs? Oh, good call. Yes, I don't cast Bane. Just kidding. I mean, you could. It, it's fine. Nope. Nope. You, nope, you don't nope, need cherubs. Nope. Who needs nope, cherubs? Nope. 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 Who needs cherubs. The cherubs are doing work. Uh, they are doing crazy <laughs> work. 
Holy shit. Hideous laughter is also That's an awesome spell. Yeah. Freaking cherubs. I feel like they deserve to have actual tokens for their cherubness. Alright, I am going to cast... Which one's the most wounded? See, had one, right? Alright. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on C Hag 1. So I whisper a discordant melody. That's what you whisper to us. Discordant melody. Was it a careless whisper? No, it was full of care. It was a careful whisper. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Alright, half as much damage does not have to move away. So it only takes half damage, which should be, yeah, it took half. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, that's it. Cause it succeeded. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty rough. All right. And then for my bonus action, I'll give a bardic inspiration to Korak. Done. Um, you can make a save at the end of your turn. Oh, right, right. Uh, wisdom, I believe. Wisdom. Nah, you're still frightened. It's a pretty, I'm it's pretty scared. crazy. It's, it's scary. Oh, Why are there birds guys. around us? Those are the uh, cherubs. That's the closest oh. thing I could get. <laughs> I can't remember summoning Newly. Um. All right. So. Uh, Barrick, this this one is going to cackle in your ear. Um, Don't cackle at me! Oh, it's cackling hardcore. And it is going to summon a greenish energy from its its claw-like hands, and it's going to shoot you, and it's going to roll a... Oh, that may not be good. Um... It's a 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. Mm. The uh, greenish energy just kind of blasts past you. Um, it stops its cackle and glares at you. Anger. Anger. Angerly. Angerly. Freaking sea hag. All right, Barrick, you're up. All right. Um, I will give this hag the, the hammer of the forge. Three attacks coming at you. Boom, boom, boom. Kapowie. Oh, Crit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And then, you know what? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to also cast... Bah, bah, bah. Hold on a second. What kind of smites do I have for my next attack? Bah, let's see. I'm gonna do. What's that? That's fire damage. Psychic damage. I'll just do a good old divine smite. Mm. And I think I can do that after this one. So, if you hit a creature with my 11 attack, you can spend a paladin spell to deal radiant damage. 2d8 for a first level spell slot plus 1d8 for X. Okay, so I'm gonna cast or I'm gonna do Divine Smite at a second level. Mm. So I get 3d8 additional. Two, two. So go ahead and add that onto that shit. Shit. Sorry, boy. That's yeah, it's looking. It's looking All right, rough. so that's one attack. This is attack that's number two. Shit. Oh, that's Smacky. It. Kershmaki. Oh, yeah. Uh, as the energy kind of comes down from Paylor on high, you smack it in the face, and its body twists, uh, makes a, a guttural, <laughs> and uh, falls to the ground. Where are you hey. coming at? Uh, you hear a shrieking from behind you as the other two are, are screaming. Mm-hmm. They did not like that. Uh, you still got another attack. I do have another attack, so I will go 5, 10, 15, 20, Do the cherubs 25. affect him? They, they affect him, right? They affect Barrick, 
Oh yeah, yeah. No. What do I do? No, 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 they definitely do. Let me let me go ahead and roll okay. damage for you. <laughs> Here's okay. some damage. <laughs> oh, whoops! Sorry, I didn't mean to roll against that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got some advantage on it though. Oh, he's just smacking the crap out of it. All right, we'll try that again. It's double dead. Kacha. Mm, nice. Yeah, that hit. And then Chapow. Mm, damn. Yep. So I just so knocked my hair on top of his head. Uh. Yeah, you hear a just a mournful wail as the uh, as the second sister comes crumbling to the ground under a massive hammer blow. I can't make a hack screen. Let me uh, just kind of twirl my hammer. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> nice hack slayer. The no big deal, guys. No big deal. <laughs> MVP. I, got, MVP. I, just got, I got this. I just got two of them. Uh, all right, all right Valorant, you're up. All right, Valorant's going to turn around to see Hag 2. Say, seriously? Counterspell? Come on. And I'm going to cast Fold Person from the uh, from the scroll of infinite spells. <laughs> this could be Folder. It. This could be it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> this is not my combat. So uh, that's my damn. action. <laughs> Her hands kind of wave in the air. You know nothing of magic. Uh, it's pretty taunting. Yeah, I may not know much about magic, but that guy knows a lot about swords. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> <Akira>. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna smack these five face. He's looking pretty red. Oh, holy mother of God! What right. just Triple advantage. I mean, you definitely hit. It's a trip, trip, triple. <laughs> mm. You don't even need to roll, but you can if you want. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> um, and with your name being called, you just spin around and slash right through the sea spawn, just right through its gut, and just, I'm assuming, go charging at the sea hag? Uh, yeah. Yep. He... As you, oh, as I you... see. I, was, I somehow had both of them targeted. Oh, uh, okay. I was rolling so many times. Double attack. There. Korak just spins in a circle attacking everyone. I think I had the horse, Frederick's horse targeted. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frederick, your horse is dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sad. Oh, shit. You oh, just that. barely. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let me reroll that, too. Uh, Does it take well, the lesser oh. damage? Uh, I think so. I think it just re-rolls. And you just take whatever the new roll is. Nice. This will be 14 damage to see how to do. I fixed it! Uh, that's it for me. Um, so yeah, good one is dead. Hmm. Frederick, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna... Try to like do a uh, a little leap over my horse and try to kick the C spawn five and then get an elbow in there. And see how this goes. Uh, I mean, you definitely can. C spawn five is is very much dead. Oh, he's dead. Yep, his body's still there. Um, I'll do that. I can, I can get rid of it. Um, I'll Me. run over to C Hag two then. Yeah. And just do a, a old one two type of punch. Hadouken. Yeah, that hit. Alright. Boom. Not, not really wearing armor, these sea hags. Both hit, looks like. Mm. Nice. Crunch, crunch. Uh, you kind of jump over your horse, landing on top of the sea spawn. There's a sickening kind of crunch. You, you jog over and just boom, boom, left, right, um, hitting it in the face. Do anything else? That's all I got. All right, see Hag two has to change his tactic. Um, saving throw. Oh, son of a bitch! Here, <laughs> um, bling. Damn it! Eighteen radiant damage. Oh, I've got to do math. <sighs> it's a six spell. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> almost did it. Um, <sighs> there's a, a screeching. <sighs> uh, I'm assuming that's what hey, see tags sound like. Um, you're still afraid, right? Yeah. Go ahead and make a. Oh, you know what? I'll just I'll just do it for you. Oh. You're dead. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> it points at you with its its gnarled fingers, seaweed kind of hanging off, and it goes, "You, you die." Um, and there's not even a, a presence. You feel like maybe there should be some kind of magic towards you, but in that moment, you are not afraid. Um, nice. One of the cherubs moons it. I totally was ready to counterspell that. I don't even think you could counterspell that, to be honest. Probably not. No, you cannot. That would have sucked, though. Uh, C-Spawn is going to... Make a saving throw. It still doesn't even know it's in a fucking doorway. <laughs> did, it, did it succeed? Nope. God damn it. Six rating damage. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hurt. Um, <laughs> and it's just gonna <laughs> through the through the freaking bars. Um, C spawn two is still incapacitated. So is that guy. He is going to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Run at you, Barrick. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't my monsters be specialer? Hmm. Nope. Nope. God damn it! Her um, and it is going to... It's going to attack. Um, where's my... Oh, there it is. First attack. Damn it. Second attack. Damn it. And then from out of nowhere comes a... Technical Ten attack. Uh, Boom. So from, from, from its backside, you... Take. I'm absorbing that with my Abjurer shield. Oh. Um, go ahead and make a strength. So, as a reaction, I'm going to use that to absorb all the damage so you don't actually have to make a constitution save. Oh. Thanks. So you can keep your spell. Thanks. So I was taking but, a nap. Clive, but I used my reaction. All right, so I'm no longer frightened because Hag, the Hag is down, right? Bing. Um, yes, the one that was uh, uh, you were afraid of. Yes. Okay, so that guy's four is dead, right? No, C spawn four is only wounded. Okay. Yeah, I think I took them all off. Yeah, the, um, the two down there are incapacitated, and then um, these guys are pretty wrecked along with the Sea right. Hag. I'm gonna um. I'm going to hit Sea Hag 2 with a Dissonant Whispers. Mm. Yes! <laughs> Dissonant Whispers! Yes! What's that, uh, what's it look like? Uh, so Calliope just points and gives a creepy stare and kind of and whispers under her breath and no one else hears anything. The Sea Hag starts like scratching at her ears and screaming uh as the sea hag starts to continue to scratch at its ears it starts to you can see it drawing blood and uh scratches into its own skull and kills itself well killed a, killed a sea hag by clawing into its face the cherubs giggle <laughs> these are demonic cherubs <laughs> i'm not feeling good about these cherubs <laughs> um and then i will um, I'm just gonna hang out where I am. I'm done. There we go. Now they're demonic. Uh, Barrick, <laughs> you're up. Uh, door is open. Yes, no. It is open. You can see through um, into another room that has two other doors. Okay. And from There's there, that's a... basically all you can see. Uh, two knockdown this... statues. The sea spawn is. Alive it's, beside it's me, right? Up. Yep. Okay. Then I am going to attack its face. You still have your protection from evil and good, by the way. I do. Thank you. Mm. I like the apples. <laughs> mm. 
I will do a Divine Smite with a first level spell and cast an additional 2d8. Kacha! So additional nice. 5 damage. C spawn 4, taking 5 more damage! Alright. And then we're going to smack him in the face again. That's, uh... Oops, that's damage, sorry. That's, uh... Take that off. Take <laughs> it off. <laughs> Take, it off. <laughs> Take it off. I'll fix it, I'll fix it! Alright, now... Put it back on, put it back on, put it back on! Oh, <laughs> uh, I gotta I gotta do quick math, because... Um... Math, quick, do math! Before he dies! <laughs> yeah, no, 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 he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay. He's dead. He stands there trying to pull out his abacus before he uh, gets smited down. And then I'm gonna move this guy and use my last attack. Uh, it's an auto crit. Auto crit? He's incapacitated currently. Yeah, oh, nice. Hold shift, roll your damage, it'll auto crit for you. Hold shift, hold, roll my damage. Boom, auto crit. That's, oh, a, that's nice. a good roll. <laughs> you know, if, if you smite, that would also be crit. I'm going to smite him. So he's going to take at least 18 points of damage. Because you're not, I don't think, attacking him. But it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. He's not. Can I use another first level spell and do. So that'd be 48 damage, right? How the crits work in 5e? Yeah, you double, double them. Double. Okay. Double it down! Cha! Holy mother of god. Extra 9. The 9's doubled, right? Or is that already Wait. doubled? Do you no. double the roll or double the damage? Nope. Either, but only one. Okay. I doubled the roll, so no, oh, okay. It's just oh, the okay. damage. So I need to add 9 to it. Yes. C spawn 3! Is that this much? Oh man, it's um, it's almost dead. You can see it kind of wavering while it stands. Um, very cut off guard by this divine energy that just smited Whoa. him in the face. All right, that's it for me. Valorant, you're up. Oh man, I'm out of spells. Um, uh, I'm going to shoot a ray of frost to see spawn one. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the hell is C-Spawn 1? Oh, that hit. They're just wearing gills. Mm. Mm. Uh, between everyone else uh, and the demonic cherubs that are mooning people, uh, you just blast him right in the face. There's a, a frozen hole through his skull, and he just falls limp. Yeah, she just blasts him, and then she says, there's one that's stunned in that room over there. She points that away. And then I'm going to walk 30 feet this way. Nice. Do anything else? That's it. Korak, you're up. All right, I'll go up to this one and uh, hold up my sword in kind of like a like Conan stance. You know, the sword by my head, kind of, and like <laughs> poke it in at the the C spawn too. Yeah, I would say you're skilled enough to kind of get through the bars. I'll allow it. It'll auto hit. Auto crit. Um, right. Am I auto critting too? Okay. Yep. Said so it was shift and the damage. Yep. Oh, if I'm auto hitting, then I can yeah, do. Man. I'll do my great weapon master. Yeah, you do. Not. Let's see. Oh there shit! We... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cork, what's it look like? <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of like you know holding his sword up like that, just like pokes it in the eyes a bunch of times. <laughs> It, it crumbles to the floor. Uh, there's a there's a flash of realization as it kind of comes out of unconsciousness that it, it's it's going to die and then just falls to the ground. You, you probably still have uh, about 10, 15 feet. You have enough movement to go hit C spawn three if you want it. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, he is not auto crit though. Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, right. but I will say, as long as you hit, he will die. He was like two points away. That's right, oh, yeah, he's not oh, stunned yeah. anymore. Yeah, he's still, yeah. So you, you, you stab this first creature through the eyes, you go running through the doorway, uh, see your friends staring at a sea spawn and just right through the ribs, pull out your sword, and it just crumbles to the ground. Um, with that, um, 
the chamber becomes quiet again. Calliope, the, the music in your head uh, that had vanished when you were frightened appears again, uh, this time louder than before. All right. Is there anything in the the little rooms where the sea spawn were? Like, if I look through the bars, is there anything in there? Is it worth searching, or is it just an empty room? Every room is worth searching. Yeah, it is. I mean, is there anything visible in the room at make, all? Make a perception check. It took a lot of skill to drag around that thing there. Guys. Oh, I don't know why I had disadvantage. Uh, you, oh, because you, you saw me frightened. Yeah, you would have. You, you're fine. I, I got it. I fixed it. Uh, you kind of look around. You, you see the body um, that now has a frozen hole that's somewhat melting in his skull. Um, other than that, you, you seem to you know, notice what may have been uh, the semblance of a countertop on the other side. Um, some sort of makeshift. Um, it reminds you of a register. Uh, it's long <laughs> since decayed, and the money themselves seem to have, um, you know, if there was money, it's it's long since been taken. Okay. But nothing in the room kind of uh, catches your attention other than that. Okay. I'm just going to wander into this main room then. I want to loot them hags. Yeah. Um... You um, you look around. Um, you find uh, one eyeball. Um, it seems to be humanoid in nature. Mm -hmm. um, make an Arcana check. No history. It's a history check. Glad. Oh my God! I missed the box. That's it was an right. twenty. It's mm, right. It's that one. Oh, mm -hmm. so close. Um. No, you look at it, um, there seems to be some sort of magic uh, within it, um, but you notice that it seems to be fading as you hold it. Um, as you're recalling, you remember reading when you were in that section of the library about hags that they sometimes will use an eyeball to communicate with entities outside or look and scry. This could be that same eyeball, but it has since, um, it, it almost has died with the presence of the hags dying. Um, other than that, hmm. you, you don't find anything except for just simple rags and, um, you know, the occasional gross seaweed. Okay. Use the eye. Look into the veil beyond. I see you. <laughs> uh, Saruman comes out of nowhere. Um, as you guys enter this room, you, you kind of look around and... I'm just going to do a little of this. Uh, there are two large statues on either side of what looks to be possibly the main entrance to this, this room. There's two large double doors. The two large statues that seem to have de decayed and fallen over. There's some seashells and rubble on the ground. And on either side of the, the room itself seems to be some sort of spiraling staircase uh, that seem to lead away. Uh, the rooms themselves, you guys have all noticed that uh, they seem to be illuminated. Um... Uh, possibly either maybe uh, some kind of underwater uh, bioluminescence or just um, possibly magically illuminated. Hmm. I'll summon Newly. Kaka! I made Newly an enemy. That's probably what you want. Can we make out what the statues used to uh, be? You do. They're very stony, and your tongue kind of punches the front of it. Yeah, you totally said, can we make out with the statue? Who's <laughs> <laughs> your moneymaker? Can uh, we make out what the statues are of? Uh, yes, they seem to be of a humanoid uh, individual. Uh, go ahead and make a investigation check. And anyone else that wants to inspect the statues. Hmm, nice and done, Valorant. They look like stone. Um, Still did better than... <laughs> yeah, but at least she didn't auto-fail. Um, <laughs> so, as you're calling out the fact that they're made out of stone, uh, Calliope, you notice that they, they are, in fact, they are stone, maybe even a marble. Um, but you notice that they seem to be holding uh, a baton of sorts. Um, and it's very reminiscent of almost an orchestra. <gasps> is the baton just made of stone as part uh, of the statue? It is, it's part of the statue. I want to go check out one of the stairs. Yeah. 
Uh, so you go walking up. Uh, you notice that the stairs kind of wrap around. There seems to be uh, two large doors. One is slightly ajar. Uh, but nothing else kind of, you know, strikes out. Down here, it looks like maybe the, the room itself has uh, slowly started to decay. There's seashells and, and other wildlife that seems to have started to take over this long forgotten temple. I'm going to peek in uh, a jar door. Yeah, uh, make a perception check. Yeah, you, uh, you open the door. And uh, it seems to be a long hallway. Again, it's, it's, it's illuminated as well. Uh, there seems to be two doors, uh, both open, one this direction and one that direction. Other than that, it's just a hallway. How Newly bad sees be? for 17. Uh, Newly also sees a very empty hallway uh, with two open doors. Uh, she can see that the farther one seems to open up uh, into a smaller passage, but since that, uh, she can't see much more. Coracle shot back. I'm going in, guys. <laughs> Check it out. I'll follow Korak. Uh, Korak and Barrack make a dexterity save. We should split up. <laughs> split the party. Cover more ground. Uh, yeah, Korak, you go walking in. You notice there's the there's a puddle on the ground, and and you instinctively uh having watched Barrick fall on his ass as soon as he walked in, you, you, you reach back and kind of grab him. You look down and you go, oh, thank you. Uh, and you very carefully walk over the puddle. There is a doorway here that is open. Uh, you see what opens up into uh, a seating area. Uh, all the seats be, seem to be facing, uh, Swift, I would tell you, the east. Mm-hmm. An amphitheater. And you can see a little bit more into this hallway, but not too much more. It seems to go into another doorway. And, um, I'm going to sneak towards a door. Yeah, roll, roll a stealth. <laughs> you feel like you're being stealthy. <laughs> I'll look in not, Mia. This is, this is not my night. <laughs> Alright, so... um. Uh, Valoran, we'll start with you. You kind of walk through, and again, you, you find um, a shorter hallway this time. The door is shut. Uh, you don't see anything else. Uh, again, it has that same sort of uh, illuminated interior. Um, Barrett, can make a perception check. Oh, man. Oh, man! Smiption. See too much. Oh. Nice. You see everything. Uh, you walk in and you look down and you, you see there are, looks to be six seats, uh, all facing, um, you know, the same direction. And that kind of catches you off guard. So you start to look following the seats and you see the seats themselves look out onto a, a large seating area. Uh, oh, that is an amphitheater. And on the very uh, end of your kind of vision, you can see what looks to be a stage. Um, uh, some seats arranging. Um, there seems to be some shadows down on the stage uh, and large assortments of seats in, in, in the ground below you. They're probably about maybe 10 to 15 feet below you. Curious. You can also see across and see uh, another similar balcony. So the shadows on the stage, are they moving? They're around this area. But they're just static static shadows? Um, with that, you would see a little bit of movement. It's hard to make out what they are from here. You, you also see kind of a, a glimmer, like a, um, a glistening on the stage. Yeah, I'm going to duck down. You're about 15 feet. My clanky armor. Yeah, you, you kind of dive out of the way. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you're about 15 to 20 feet up, depending on where you are. I'm gonna uh, say. Psst. <laughs> you all hear it. It kind of echoes around. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna sneak out there and take a little peek. All right. Roll yourself. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm gonna do the finger eye thing and point to the stage. Uh, Calliope, make a uh, we'll call it an investigation check. Uh, what exactly and where exactly you're looking at? She's trying to figure out what's going on on the stage and figure out like who, what type of performance it's set up for. Gotcha. Um, yeah, you uh, you look around the stage. Um, it, it reminds you um, of you know a musical um, uh, entity. Um, you know, orchestra kind of feel, and and between the statues and the music that now is is very loud playing in your head, and almost seems to be coming from this this center location. Um, you kind of look up, and you notice um, some beings that are sitting on the chairs themselves. Um, they seem to be um, uh, transparent in nature. Um, they seem to be holding something, um, and that's about all you can kind of make out from this location. Um, if you want, I can send Newly to do a sweep around the room and take a look. It's probably a good idea. He kind of shouts it at you. Sure. Idea, idea, idea. I should keep waking up. I don't know. Um, probably this epic battle music. Probably. I will send Newly circling around the room uh, and look through her eyes so Valorant's eyes roll back in her head, but she will relay everything she sees to the group. I'm nice. going to put a baby down. Baby down. Right. So uh, as Newly kind of flies around, uh, at first, uh, you know, Valorant starts to describe. Uh, the landing and what seems to be some kind of bioluminescence. Uh, it continues to fly around the seats. Um, you know, in the middle seem to be in disarray, almost seem like they've been pushed back. Uh, the ones on the side seem to be fine. Uh, as Newly kind of flies around, uh, she describes a statue, very reminiscent of the ones uh, that were falling over. These are fully homo erectus. Uh, and <laughs> you can kind of uh, make out a little bit more description. Uh, they clearly seem to be some sort of musicians. Um, as, as Newly flies closer, she describes what seems to be, um, unearthly or un, um, un, un contained souls, uh, kind of flickering, holding instruments, uh, and, and just seem to be playing, though there is no music she can hear. Um, and in the center seems to be a harp, uh, seems to be right there. It is, uh, gold, um... Almost seem to be feathered, um, and its strings are playing a, a beautiful song. Uh, as Newly continues to fly, the the spirits take no notice. Um, the rest of the um, area seems to be un un uh, disturbed, and um, she notices that this door is slightly ajar and just flies right in, and comes back to rest. Calliope starts to head toward the stage. Okay. I'm going to roll my Eyeballs. religion. See if I can know anything about these souls. Alright. Do they look like actual human souls or not? Yeah, so you have uh, known of places of either great power uh, that have contained um, powerful entities or beings um, almost stuck in a time loop. Um, for the most part, you, you have learned and studied that they're usually mundane. They just seem to be going about their existence like, you know, everything is normal. They don't even know that they're trapped. Um, you have read, uh, yeah, with that role, you have read that there has been cases where um, it, it's possible a disturbance could awaken them. Um, but... You, the readings and the memory it, it's it's foggy you can't really remember what it what it entailed you just remember reading that a disturbance could awaken them to the presence of others i'm going to just very clumsily get to my feet feet and run after Calliope. cha ching it's like cha ching cha ching Calliope, wait i don't know if Calliope went to are you back i am as i start to move towards the stage, I'm going to um, 
start singing softly. I'm going to do Unearthly Chorus. So I'm going to have advantage on all of my charisma checks. Oh, and I can try to beguile creatures. Your song. Nice. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sing a song that like I'm gonna sort of be singing along with the music I hear mm -hmm. and playing as I walk towards the stage. Nice. Uh, yeah, you you slowly make your way. Uh, you notice um, Frederick sauntering in on his horse. <laughs> um, you, you notice that the the entities seem to be kind of minding their business. Um, are you gonna continue to walk towards the stage? Yep. So as you continue to walk towards the stage, um, make a perception check. Don't do it. Nice. Um, so you continue to move closer, um, humming with the music. And as you get closer, the music seems to get more intense and more uh, dramatic. It, it's it's beautiful music. You're you're not afraid at all. Uh, you notice that uh, what you would imagine was, or at some point is, the conductor. Uh, this guy kind of turns to you. There's a smile. Uh, and just simply goes back to um, you know doing what he's doing. So the harp is playing itself. Yep. But all the seats are full of these creatures. Yep. We should totally destroy the harp and wake them. <laughs> Tarek's gonna try to run up, and if I catch up to her, I say, "Wait, something's not right." Something binds these spirits. I think it may be that harp. We should think before we move forward. We should play it. And Clive <laughs> hops upon No, stage. no, no. That's that's the opposite of what I wanted you to do. <laughs> uh, as you get closer, you make out the harp. Uh, it almost seems to be um, angelic in nature. There's um, like a wing at the top and the bottom that holds several strings together. Um, again, nothing, nothing seems to happen. Calliope, I wait. Let Korak tell us what it is. She pauses for a second, but she looks antsy. Korak will pull out the Cross of Truth. Okay. You use it. Closer. <laughs> I use it. I see the word there. All right. Yeah, you... Um... I wave it in the air to see if it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lightsaber. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, God, it hurts. Um, all right, I just have to make sure that I am going to tell you correctly. Um, yeah, as you kind of clutch it, um, it's a, these individuals around you, um, the truth will set us free. They seem to be, um, of a, a, a ghostly figure. Um, they don't seem to be good or evil. They just seem to exist. Um, the harp though, uh, glows a, a very bright, uh, golden color. Uh, and from here, Korak, you can hear um, the most epic music you have ever heard. Uh, it, there's a moment where you almost become um, enraged with courage uh, and you feel stronger than you have uh, in the past many months. Uh, and there, there's an urge to become better in its presence. Coracle just uh, nod to Clyde. Play the harp. <laughs> All right, Clyde yes. rushes forward, yes. and she's going to attempt to like continue the song that's happening, but play the harp. Uh, yeah. How are you playing the harp? She is going to sort of come like stand behind it for a second and watch it move, and then like gently like place her fingers on it and play with it and then try to like take over a little bit and maybe like make some minor adjustments to the song that's happening yeah yeah roll your uh, performance mm. 
Mm. Yeah, you, you start to, you know, feel it. You've been hearing this music since you've entered the lake, uh, but now it's it's kind of imbued with you. Uh, and you, you start to, you know, rock with the music, and there's there's a humming that you, you start to feel, and you start playing the harp, and it it, uh, it feels good, but you start to add to it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Korak, make a perception check. Nice. Um... Korak, you die. Um, you <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, couldn't resist. Um, that that feeling that you had, um, you feel stronger and empowered, uh, and and you're ready. You're ready for whatever could could happen, uh, whether it's now or in the future. As long as Calliope is playing this instrument. Um, as you're kind of caught up in that moment, you, you just kind of glance to your left and you notice that this creature, uh, his visage kind of shimmers slightly and there is a, a black aura behind it and then it shimmers back. <sighs> what you doing, Calliope? She just keeps playing. She's digging it. She's super into it. Make a constitution save. Oh, and you are here, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as you begin to play uh, the music and, and you're just, your just your natural charisma kind of takes over. And, and before you know it, you realize you're standing there and you lifted up the harp. And it's about the size of um, just a kind of a short bow. It's it's not a massive harp, it's a smaller harp, and you're surprised how light it is. Uh, and its strings seem to kind of glow as you pluck it. Uh, and immediately you, you seem empowered. Um, it just the performance seems to get better. And Korak, you start to notice this too, and everyone else in the room kind of feels the vibe of the music kind of playing. Um, and... Do, 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 do. Uh, Korak, you're going to notice this first. Um, as, as she kind of picked up the harp, that shimmer that happened immediately flickers again. Uh, and you, one, two, three, the three of you hear, uh, almost a, a scream, um, as the voices of these individuals kind of ream out at once. And you hear, you have freed us. Um... Neat. <laughs> and everyone roll initiative. <laughs> ah. <damn. laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. First one was... <laughs> what? Yep. I rolled a two. I have to do a little deleting here. Newly, the owl got a 17. Mm. My initiative was actually a 2. If I rolled it twice. Cheater! Cheater! I mean, there we go. Fix it. 2! Just do a little tweak in here. A little, little tweaky tweak. Alright. Um, Calliope. You yes. are the proud owner, owner of this that you don't know much oh. more about. All Rachel's ever wanted. Hopefully you don't see anything on it. <laughs> no, I, it's all very vague. Yep, you're welcome. Huh. Huh. Uh, did it go to your inventory? Because if not, I can I can do that. Probably yeah. says like a harp made of white and gold. I don't think it went to my inventory. There we go. Now it is. A harp made of white and gold. <laughs> That's my inventory. Oh. Actually, you're within. Let me look at something real quick. Uh, affected. Oh. You can thank Korak. You're gonna immediately know what this sucker is. What? There you go. 
All right. Um, with that, a couple minutes. Um, what? Yeah, they're pretty crazy. Um, let me just look here real quick. I didn't expect you guys to make it this far. Uh, uh, he's not gonna go. There is going to be. Um. Barrick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh, make a charisma check. Charisma saving throw. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> good rules hey, of charisma. Hey, what's, Bad rules. what's your immunities? I am immune to necrotic and radiant damage. Okay. No, resistant. I'm not immunity. Yeah, that's resistance. probably fine. Um, okay, so um, you uh, see the the individuals that used to be um, just plain spirits. They yep. they have become twisted. Um, in in uh, oh yeah, there we go. They they become twisted, and from out of the shadows. This semi-transparent individual kind of drifts towards you, um, and before you know it, he is inside of you. Um, <laughs> he he kind of seeps into the pores of your armor, um, and you are fully aware of its presence and what is around you, um, but you are currently possessed. Son of a gun. That's probably fine. It'll be okay. Um and let's see if anyone else got a sneak attack. No, that was it. Um, all right. So, top of the round. Oh, boy. This guy is going to turn and look at Korak. And he is going to say... <laughs> I don't have very many spells, guys. My soul has been trapped for years. Uh, and then it's going to attempt to do some damage to you. It's gonna hurt. No, it's probably gonna be fine. Um, and as it kind of slices, there's this, like, sucking and draining, uh, that happens, um, uh, before you realize it, um, some of your hit points have actually been uh, dropped by uh, 10 points. Um, so until uh, otherwise, your your uh, uh, total hit points is dropped by 10%. Uh, I'm sorry, 10, 10 hit points. 10% would be insane. Um, I think I skipped too many people. Uh, Valor in Europe. Uh, boy. Nah, it's I'm going to try good. something. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to cast Dispel Magic on Barrick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Since it seems like he's being possessed, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Choose one uh, creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check. DC 10 plus the spell level. Yeah, I'm going to try to dispel this possession. Do it, man. I'm going to roll an intelligence. Is that right? Um, yeah, yeah, I believe so, yes. Is it is it a level twelve spell or less? Um, it is not. Uh, but as you reach out, trying to grasp the entity, uh, all you can sense is Barrick's presence, uh, and you cannot grasp onto this entity, um, and unfortunately, it fails. Not a magic effect. Okay. Not a magic effect. It was a good thought, though. I liked it. Yeah. It's good. I give you a kudos. Oh, good. I give you a thumbs up. Um, that's my action. Um, I'm gonna move closer so I can use my shield on people if I need to. Nice. 
All right, Calliope, you are now holding a uh, bow. Harp. Harpo. Harpo Mark. I am going to They use... do not require a tuning. They are above it. Right, right, right. I am going to... Um... Use the harp to shoot lightning. Oh shit! Going right with lightning. Person. Um. But it should. I feel like the bonus is bonus isn't prop. That's all right. I can fix it later. Oh. Uh, it's still. Are you doing the uh, ballad of lightning strikes? Yes. It still hits, it just takes half damage. It's okay. a, it automatically hits. Oh. oh, okay. But if you fail the attack, it takes half damage. Okay. So, so it takes... 48 halved. Yeah. And who are you uh, striking with it? The... One in the middle, and I and I identified creature one, and then uh, I guess they're all an identified creature one. So the one that's like across from me, and then the one on either side of it with the deck save. Nice. Um, let me look at something real quick. Deck save. Hmm. He's feeling good about that. All right. So that one takes three damage. And deck save, deck save, deck save. Boom. That one did not succeed. That one takes 10 damage. I'm just going to identify these guys to make it easier on me. Um, it didn't automatically do that, right? No, I, no, I didn't have anything. Much All right, so guess one, you... Uh, so the first one took how much damage? Uh, the middle one five? took... Yeah, eight, eight, three, and ten. Eight, three. So this one you notice only takes uh, the lightning bolt seems to shoot through it. It actually only takes half that damage. This one you said was uh, ten. Yeah. Uh, again, the bolt seems to shoot through it. it. Still takes some damage, and this guy is going to take the full amount. So that one was uh. Eight, I think. Okay. Good. Pew, pew, pew. Lightning bolts. All oh, the lightning bolts. Good. All right. Doing anything else? Um, no. Boom. Ba -da -boom. Nuli's up. Uh. Newly well. Oh boy. Newly will fly 25 feet in, and I will assist Korak on his next attack and fly this away. You have advantage on your next attack. That's right. Alright. My notes here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, this guy is going to fly towards you. Oh god, it hurts. Um, and it is going to pull out of a dark and black sheath, uh, a a two and a half length sword, and it is going to swing at you and apparently not target you 22 hit yep uh you take eight points of damage and it's gonna swing again but that time miss uh so seeing that blade kind of swing at you and connecting uh you instinctively kind of dodge slightly out of the way uh its second blow kind of just just glances off of your armor uh leaving a slight scratch <laughs> um this one is gonna just float up to you. No big deal. 
Um, and it is going to reach out and touch you. I believe that definitely misses. Um, so as you, it tries to grab, its its arms just kind of waft through you. Um, it, it, you get the impression it, it hasn't been in you know this form in, in a very long, long time. Frederick, you are up. All right, I'm going to cast Magic Missile on White's one. Bing! So let me see here, I can do... I'll do a second level, so it's going to give me four four darts. Pew pew pew. Wait one. Ba -ba 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 So seven is thirteen, six, sixteen. All right, and then I'm gonna jump across a couple of these and get a little closer. Uh, my turn. Make a religion check. Oh no. Um, you have seen these entities, uh. In your lessons when you were training to, to become a healer um, and that you know uh, undead do not like uh, radiant uh, or, or holy magic but they they do have a lot of immunities or uh, resistance all right so I'm gonna yell to the team hit them with your holy and radiant magic you're the cleric <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. That is the best response ever. Um, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> I literally don't think I even have any. Don't you have turned undead? Well, not a not ready. I th uh, that's a, that that's a class lies. feature. Yeah, that's a class feature. That's oh, you're right. I do. You're right. I yeah, do. Have I've it. done. It. I've used it before. You no, got right. this. Um, got this. Korak, this one uh, kind of sweeps towards you, uh, hovering near you, and, and reaches out with both its hands. And... Mm. 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 Um... Uh, you, you take... Uh, there's a, a draining sensation as, as four more hit points kind of drain from you. Man, that was a crappy roll. Uh, and your maximum oh. hit points are reduced... By four. Wait a second. Let me do. Uh, think. I can use my luck to reroll a save. Yeah, I'm gonna use a roll. Happy thoughts. Uh, that succeeds. So you still take the damage, but your HP does not drop. Okay. Um, spectral two, which apparently is there. He is. He's hiding in the shadows. Uh, pops out. Um. And, yep, he is going to swing at you, Calliope. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Uh, his arms just kind of pass through you, uh, trying to take his, his present form. Um, Beric. Mm-hmm. I have to read something. This is me reading. This is the reading sound. Um. Beric, no! Don't give in! Okay, uh, nothing happens yet. Um, however, this one. This one vanishes. Make. Korak, you're up. All right. Um, so Korak hasn't done this before, but 
Um, and nobody's seen us before, so he's going to try to, like, psych himself up and get really mad. Suck, so he's suck, just kind of like, ah, 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 and then ah, goes into, like, he goes into, a, <laughs> he powers up, he goes into a rage. Yes. And then uh, he's going to try to beat on the Wraith. Do you have do you have barbarian level? <laughs> nice. I totally did. <laughs> got, oh my god! My level barbarian. <laughs> Amazing. Um, does does the wraith have a weapon at all? Uh, the wraith, I believe, does. I I have to think about it. Hold on. Um, I uh, no. Um, that image is very um not helpful, but it does not have a weapon. Okay. Um, I guess why not? I'll s I'm not sure if I can, you can actually trip ghosts or wraiths, but I'm gonna try to trip it. And then I have advantage for this first attack. Oh. Nice. Eric, you hit. Jesus Christ. Reroll that too. Oh, all right. Yeah. So take off yeah, one like damage. That. And then um, I can add the superiority die. Add eight. And then he has, <laughs> if he's trippable, he has to make a strength saving throw. Um, I need another eight damage. Yeah. Uh, so as you kind of swing low, uh, your sword connects. Um, your sword is magical, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Your sword connects, uh, and it, your muscles tense as its its body connects with the swords, and you pull with all your might, um, and you kind of twist around, and as you look back, um, you, you uh, immediately look to see if you had knocked him prone, um, but as you turn... Its body almost kind of explodes out with energy, and you killed that right. So whether you can knock it prone or not, you did enough damage to kill it. Oh, okay. I say you he did. I say you he did. Uh, what else are you doing? And second attack, I'll swing it. Conductor. Advantage, so I Jesus still hits. Let me roll that one. <laughs> there, you swing at the at four. All right, let me fix that. Jesus, uh, his form kind of shimmers for a moment, but he, he stabilizes. Um, yeah, he's he's holding it together. Oh shoot! I forgot. I have to add two more for the rage damage. Oh yeah, you do. Um, fixed. Okay, done. You raging fool. Uh, Beric, on your turn. Yeah. How many attacks do you get? Three. That's great. <laughs> uh, you move forward, and you're gonna swing at Valoran. Yeah, you are. Uh, just a regular uh, hammer, no smite. Hammer time. ka -chow. Nice. Uh, you could sense the the spirit within you trying to, you know, hit your friend, and you withhold back, uh, and there's there's a hesitation, and Valor, and you can see it in his eyes. Uh, though they're glazed over, there's a hint of him being there, and you dodge out of the way. Swing again. Yep. ka -chow. Damn. All right. Uh, same thing. You're kind of holding back. Uh, third attack. She's dodgy, dodgy. Uh-oh. Mm, yeah. There so, you go. wait. Hold up. Hold up. Um, armor class 23. Uh, as a reaction, I would like to cast shield. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I think it would still hit me. Never mind. It would still hit me. Because that would make my armor class 23. Oh, yeah. It would still hit. All right. Still uh, hit. Roll, roll your, your normal damage. Uh, let me just see here. Cause... I mean, you can. Damage, damage, inflicts with. 
experience amount of health. I don't think I have any health loss, so. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Nice. Um, though the hammer hits, and and there's this moment of why, but you you can see there's Betrayal. an internal struggle that Barrack is fighting. Can um, I say something? You, yeah. Barrack, be cool, man. That's not cool. Be cool. Uh, <laughs> You, you can hear, but unfortunately you cannot reply. Swift is still taking a nap. Um, she must be real tired. Um, the Wraith is going to reach out. Alright, I have to go feed a baby. I don't know if or when I will be back. <laughs> oh, it's also 1040. Uh, this is actually a really good place to stop. Um, so, I mean, we can stop here. That's perfectly fine. Oh, uh, okay. Um, sure. Before I forget, 